very small percent. So 95 out of 100 people that are sick, have, it's nothing about the genes. It's something about the environment and the interaction with that environment. You'll love this story. We talked to um, Eden Bailey, who told us her story, just an individual who came down with um, breast cancer, got x-rays with showing a lump in her breast. So she quit her job, she stopped everything, stopped her life, and she spent 45 days doing inner work, cleansing, clearing on an emotional level, worked with a couple of uh, healers uh, from an esoteric standpoint. And she said she felt the moment when the breast tumor went away. She just felt it. She felt at last I'd cleansed it. And she said it became more important for her to clean up this emotional stuckness in her life than it did to live or die. That was secondary. She wanted to do the clearing first. And then she felt the transition. She went back to the doctor, and they took more x-rays. The whole cancer was gone, didn't x-ray. And the doctor said there must be a mistake. And she was wearing a very distinctive ring that showed up on her fingers that showed up in both x-rays. And she says, no, this is me. Look, this happened in 45 days. And the doctor still don't believe it. This is one of, one of millions of stories like Change that, which are not physical. accidents, are they? I, I, you know, on the one hand, it's, it's like, okay, then people think if I can't do it, then I'm spiritually defective. Or no, they think, well, this is, this well, I'll forego the other medicine <laughs> because I can do it this way. You know, there's a bind on this. Well, but that, the same that, time, you have to say, this take, is her story, this happened to her, this was true. Go ahead, I'm Bruce. Yeah, I'm sorry, because it's just unfortunate that that is what limits most people because all of a sudden they say, well, oh, it didn't happen, and I really had these good thoughts, and I tried to change it, and then they feel very dejected that, something spiritually is lacking or they're not capable. And this is not, this is the problem, is that if you're not, if you never were taught how to drive a standard shift car with a clutch, and you were given a car with a clutch, whether you're successful with that or not, you know, that it's not likely, first of all, you'll probably damage everything in the process. And the point is this, if you're not trained how to use the equipment, yeah. then... How do you expect to drive the car? Yeah, and the problem is this, we are not trained to use the equipment because it wasn't in our training. We don't have any training programs for this. Our training programs are still saying that everything about us is genes. And, and until we get new, cha new programs and new education, then, of course, the, those people who are, don't have the education aren't going to be able to, to, to manage. And it's simply this. It's knowledge is power. Lack of knowledge is totally lack of power. And we have been systematically, as a group, we don't have the knowledge because we follow this uh, carrot called the genome, thinking that all the knowledge is going to be in there, and that's the problem. We are not, we have not been taught how powerful uh, uh, our thoughts and our beliefs and our perceptions are over our genes because it's not even in medical literature that there's any relation between the two. So I, we can't blame people, but what we have to recognize, people have to recognize is that it's not just a matter of changing your mind. The beliefs that we have are ingrained in us so deeply that we have to, to change these beliefs. And, and they were put in, a lot of the beliefs were put in before we were born because our, we were conforming to our parents' uh, perception of the world and how they managed it, and we were being programmed by that. So. For the individual to take personal, you know, I'm not saying that you're personally responsible if you can't do it. What I'm saying is, oh, it's, it's a matter of, of, of reprogramming some old mm -hmm. hidden beliefs that were in there even before you became aware that you had beliefs. Well, Eden feels that the success that she uh, achieved was due to just going down layer and layer and layer to bedrock. That she just stopped her life and did nothing but that, and that that's what saved her life. Almost every remission. She said it was a very painful emotionally process. It was not oh, fun. Of course, it was the, the yeah. pain. The pain was manifested as cancer. The anger was manifested as a as a cancer. And so she, you, you have to to do this, but you don't have to do it. It doesn't have to be that hard. That's why I put that. Oh that right, we got to check this guy out. Uh, mentioned in before because I even thought it had to be hard, oh, but wow. now I recognize. Oh my goodness, that was just again another belief thing, and and the fact is it's you can reprogram very, very quickly because it, oh, it is boy. just a programming system. Oh, boy. Boy, I love and that. I to, We're I on a wild new frontier, aren't we? Uh, last question from our chat room is, what about practical tips? What do we do? Let's not wait until we have cancer. Let's not wait until we're backed against the wall and we're desperate. What can we do today to help ensure that our belief system is as productive and uh, and uh, beneficial to us as can be and true. And, and the, of course, the question is then to identify what those beliefs are. And it's not 
uh, and we don't have to go through and do psychoanalysis. That's probably the wor one of the worst it's things the we ages. ultimately end up doing yeah. is that kind of conventional stuff. Uh, it basically, it's, it, it's not the how you got the problem. It's basically identifying what the problem is. And the psychology people always like to dig up who did this and who did that. That's, that's not relevant. It's what is the, the core belief problem that you might have. And the, again, www.psych.com k.com and there's a test on there you can do your own personal test to, to check for core beliefs and that is the first and primary step of taking control of your life is to find out what beliefs are, are shooting yourself in the foot all the time what beliefs mm -hmm. do you hold that that are not in your consciousness they don't come into your consciousness they're already wired into your subconsciousness and, and why this is important is we have a consciousness and we have a subconsciousness and the relevance of the subconsciousness is it handles details that have been repeated so I don't have to think about them over and over again. And, it, and biologists reveal that when stimuli come into the body, that the subconsciousness is engaged uh, milliseconds before the consciousness is. So that, what that means is even before you're aware of the stimulus, you're already enacting a pre-programmed behavior. And that's, <coughs> that's our, our issues that we haven't caught on to is that the subconsciousness is designed to take the signals that come in and immediately carry out a response even though it didn't come into your consciousness. Oh, that's a key point, isn't it? Absolutely. So that most of the behavior we do, like walking, you don't have to, rem if you go back as a kid and you remember the concentration that, that was involved with moving your legs and balancing and all that, but once you understood that, you don't have to concentrate. It doesn't have to come into consciousness again. So walking is invisible. It's a process that is wired for you. Well, not only walking, but your attitudes toward things in your environment, your beliefs about what you think you can accomplish or you can't, or, you know, your beliefs about health. These are wired, and therefore, they don't come into your consciousness. Even though your consciousness may attach a, a, attack a topic, it doesn't change the hardwired response you're going to have anyway unless you go through a change of the program. It's not just bringing it up in my mind. Oh, I need to. I'm going to. I want to be well today. Okay, I'm going to be well. I'm just made up my mind to do that. And the fact is, if you weren't well, there was already programming in some way that was taking you out of health. Just changing your conscious mind does not change the hard wiring of the subconscious apparatus. I see. You have to dig a little deeper to go back and change the. Yeah, but it's not. But this? that's why the psych hyphen K uh, uh, yeah. uh, site is really wonderful because we don't. It doesn't. It's our old belief is this is hard work to do. And the fact is. That's a belief system. That's not true. Uh, it doesn't have to be difficult. So this is just a friend of yours. You believe in his work. You've tried it. You've you're just it's a personal endorsement. I've seen it for 12 years, and yeah. I, and it's, I go out and give lectures, you know. So I stand up in front of the audience, and it's easy for me to talk about science. Uh, his job is a little harder to me because he stands up in the front and he takes a volunteer from the audience who has some lifelong issue, and 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 he brings that person up in the front, and and in 15, 20 minutes you know, radically changes the, the, the belief system of this person, which I've seen now for 12 years, affect people for the, for the after that. The, the, no, no, it didn't go away again. It changed their life after that. So, so it's like, I'm like, oh, Shortcut oh. to bedrock to make some, some permanent and uh, beneficial changes. I've got to see. I'm going to call him up and invite him on the show. Bruce, we're out of time. Thank you so much for all of the work that you do. So appreciate your breakthrough research and insights and looking at human potential that is encoded in our very DNA and uh, states of consciousness, our very soul. It's not, you know, where's bedrock? It's the soul. We only work through the DNA. Thanks so much. That was Bruce Lipton. You can find more of his materials, videos, uh, et cetera, et cetera, at 800-243-1438. Thanks for listening. I'm Laura Lee. <laughs> Laura Lee Online, www.lauralee.com.